You know, many people think Pilates is more of a women's workout, when in reality it was started by a man named Joseph Pilates during World War I. Today, more and more men are gravitating to the Pilates world to reap the amazing health benefits. Joining me right now is Sarah Aldrich from her studio of the same name, Sarah Aldrich, Pilates in New Haven. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you. I tell you, I'm one of those guys, you know, because you always hear women going, I'm going to Pilates, I'm going to Pilates. You don't hear guys doing a bit. Tell us a little bit about Joseph Pilates and how this all started. Sure. Well, basically, um, during World War One, he was stationed um, in a hospital, yeah. and he saw a lot of sick soldiers coming in, and they were all bedridden. So he thought, how can I rehabilitate these sick people? And so he rigged these bed springs and came up with over 500 exercises to help them get better, to increase their flexibility, and that's where it started. So they were actually able to exercise while they were confined to the bed. Exactly. That is really amazing. Now, you were a runner. Yes. And at what point in your life, what brought this whole about change in your life to go from running into doing Pilates? Well, really, an injury brought me to Pilates. I had a lot of ankle and foot issues. And after surgery, I was kind of, I tried PT, I tried all these things, and nothing really worked. And Pilates actually helped me to slow down and focus on small movements, which ultimately helped my leg to heal faster. All right. So now more and more men are doing it. Yes. All right. Are you still running at all? Or are you... I am. I'm oh, back yeah. to running. See, because I'm one of those guys. I have, I have a problem when I'm doing, you know, running because I have a, a knee situation. Even working on the Stairmaster is tough on it. Mm. I got a back situation. Swimming, I know, is great. But I'm really interested in, you know, what, uh, what I might be able to do. So if you want to see if you can put me through my paces. Absolutely. Bit. I'd be happy to. All right. What are we going to do? All right. Oh, and who, and who are these? Are your Pilates pals? Are these people that are always with you? This is my instructor, Christy Powell. Oh, you always have you always have your. And your, these are my dear friends, clients, guinea pigs. All right, yeah. terrific. Welcome. All right, so I feel right. like I feel like I'm uh, in one of your class. People yes. say that Parker has no glass. I got a class today. <laughs> All right. So the number one thing in Pilates is breath, which uh, we're going to practice that really quickly. So why don't you bring your hands a little higher up on the sides of your rib cage? Okay. And because your belly is going to be drawn back the whole time in Pilates, we want to teach you how to use your rib cage to breathe. Okay. So check it out. When you inhale, I want you to think about your hands expanding out to the side. So okay. inhale. Yeah. yeah. And as you exhale, let the rib cage narrow back together. Beautiful. Try that two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Think soft, easy shoulders. Yeah. One more time. Inhale. I like this. And exhale. Good. Two more times. Now you're going to think of belly to spine as you do that. Inhale again. Exhale, belly draws back. To it. Beautiful. This is your powerhouse, your core. You're learning how to engage it. And exhale. Beautiful. So at the risk of putting everyone to sleep, any small moves will get you moving a little faster. All right, all right, all right. So you're going to hop off the brick. Okay, hop off the brick. Hop off the brick. Hop off the brick. You're going to okay. lie down on your back, head here. On my back. Head on here. On your back. On my back. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So all right. you're going to bend your knees. Okay. Good. And bring your hands behind your head. Okay. Now I want you to think of um, an 80s sit up. Think of those aerobics videos. Yep, yep. Give me just like a sloppy, hardcore sit up. Yeah, excellent. <sighs> That's what people come in Pilates first. Thing is, uh, hardcore. Now I want you to stop. <laughs> and I want you to. I'm squeaking while I'm doing that. <laughs> yeah, no squeaking. I want you to think about that first thing I told you. So think of the, the rib breath. So you're going to yep. inhale with the ribs widen. Exhale, let the belly sink down. Good. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Inhale one more time. Now, as you exhale, slowly draw your chin toward your chest, and then think of hinging at the base of your rib cage. Gorgeous. Good. And then coming back down. Good. Two more of those. And it takes a lot of practice. Good. One more time. Curling up and down. So that's an upper abdominal curl. Now, okay, what, now what are we working when we're doing that primarily? So your transverse is your deepest abdominal muscle and yeah. we, when you zipper your belly toward your spine without yeah. moving your spine, your, the bones of your spine, yeah. you're contracting it. It's like a corset muscle. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So let's put the corset to the test. Okay. Arms down by your sides. Okay. Palms face down. Okay. Now you're going to bring your feet a couple inches apart from each other. Okay. So sits bones distance. Beautiful. Now pretend there's strings attached to your hip points. Okay. You're just going to let your hips rise up to the ceiling. Yep. Engaging your hamstrings. Good. And if you need to wiggle your heels in a little closer to your butt, you can. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Hips higher. Good. Now I want you to think of that action of belly to spine. Good. Draw down. Excellent. Belly to spine and then press up with your hamstrings. Good. And exhale. This is your basic bridge. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And lower down, leading to your tailbone. Good. So typically in a class, we'd do a lot of these, but again, okay. giving you a little... And what was that doing for me right there? So that's strengthening your, your hamstrings and your calves, and it's mm -hmm. teaching you about the transverse contractions, so your deep belly muscles okay. and your spine working together. Okay. Um, let's do something fun. Okay, that's good. Kind of I'm always ready for fun. Sit on up, ready? Okay, stand right. on up. Face, uh, Not too fast. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to have you face the front again, so you're going to okay. say how you started. Okay. 
And, uh, yep, sit on down. Oh, you want me to sit down? Yep, okay. sitting down. All right. This is called rolling like a ball. Okay. Now, just like you did with the sit-up, I want you to just roll back, be careful, okay. but think of just like a little kid rolling back. So just roll back, have fun with it, and then roll on up. <sighs> Do it again. Give me just a little clumsy roll back. <clears throat> These squeaks right. are really natural Steve Parker squeaks. <laughs> now, coming on up. Really rolling like a ball, I want you to think of that, that principle of drawing your belly toward your spine. Oh, okay. And this is very common. That happens. <laughs> It took me about a year to master this. Now, pretend that momentum doesn't exist. It's just you and your core. Okay. You can watch me for one sec so you, so you know. So I'm going to go back, and then with control, I'm going to come up. Okay. And they're going to do it too, so you won't feel silly in case you... Good. Do it again. Keep your eye toward your pubic bone so you don't let your head... Yep. Do Keep it. my eye towards my pubic bone. Yeah. That would be a good trick. So, I'll lock my neck. so you're not breaking your neck back. <laughs> Good, and then Christy over here is going to show a more advanced version of straight leg rocker, which is very tricky. Beautiful. Hey, no and no way happens I'm trying it out. <laughs> yeah, we're not wow. going to make you do that one. Beautiful, nicely done. All right, so let's show you something um, called swimming. Okay. All right. So on your belly, okay. facing either way. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Arms okay. out in front of you. Man, it's tough. I normally squeak and the rest of the world doesn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Pilates likes to work the body in all planes of movement. So now you're on your belly. Your arms are extended straight in front of you. Okay. And I want you to think of drawing your shoulder blades down your back. Okay. Good. And again, lifting the belly. I won't be able to see this. You're going to keep your head down for a second. Okay. Just the belly. Good. Okay. Lower, lower your hips down. Good. So just think of lifting the belly to the spine. It's going to look like nothing's happening. Good. Lower down. Good. Stay right here. Now I want you to lift your left arm up a couple inches. Now, lift your right leg up a couple inches. Yeah, it's a little bit like twister, oh, yeah. just a lot of coordination. Lower down, lower down. Good. Switch. Right arm up. Left leg up. Good. Now, this, again, this, takes, this can take months to master. So this is, he's doing a great job. So now you're going to alternate that movement. So just keep your belly drawn up and in. What do you got? I'm sorry. What do you, up, up, up. Yep, just keep your belly lifted. Okay. And now extend your left arm up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. And your right leg. Oh, left arm, right. Yeah, right. Okay, this is gotcha. very common to be confused. Good. Okay, and one, one, one last thing. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Yep, and then your right arm and your left leg. Good, and then coming on down. And the other folks, good. Uh, you know, know we want to thank our, uh, our folks at uh, Brush and Floss Dental Centers, because without them, without Brush and Floss, <laughs> Without this great brush and dry, we wouldn't have an opportunity to put myself through this kind of stuff. Good healthy stuff, good Pilates stuff. Thank you so much. You are welcome. I feel better. I'm going to practice this at home. Hey, if you'd like more information, go to WTNAs.com, click on the style page, and you can, put your, you can actually put yourself through this right at home, all right? Coming up.